Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon, and this is Pisces energy. So this is an energy of confusion, deception, secrets being kept. Someone could also be hiding their feelings. Someone could be very emotional. Let's see. We have the strength card, Leo energy, the ten of swords, air energy, and the devil in the reverse. Capricorn energy. So there's an energy here of a, a breakup, an ending, um, and... There's a feeling of working through complex emotions with the moon being here. But with the devil, it looks like this feeling of releasing something that wasn't healthy or was toxic. Uh, there's this feeling of having to be strong right now, being patient with yourself. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of communication, breakthrough, clarity. You could be coming out of this confused moon energy. It's like you will be in that energy temporarily, but it does look like with the Ace of Swords, you're, you're going to see something clearly for the first time and everything will make sense. There's this feeling of a breakthrough happening. So let's see, we have the Chariot, Cancer energy, the Page of Pentacles, Earth energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, learning a lesson from something that you've been through here and also recognizing something about someone's values. Something may not have been in alignment. With the Chariot, there's an energy of moving forward, um, being victorious, um, embracing a new beginning as well with the Page of Pains goals. So you could be moving on from a heartbreak or a, a very painful ending, possibly even a betrayal. You'll be letting that go and there's this feeling of stepping into a new chapter doing things the right way with the Hierophant and even playing it safe. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Yeah, you may actually find that you get over something quicker than you expected yourself to. And it could be because you have this moment of clarity. We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. We have purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice. Okay, we have surrender, stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.